going on YouTube? Hope everybody having a good day. It's Saturday. I'm feeling good. I gave it away already. I'm feeling so good. I went to the pet store, got some fish. My guys Jeff and Jason over there at Aquatic and Reptile Depot looked out for me. I had to go and uh, restock on our ghost shrimp army. We over there, to, you know, it's looking pretty good. We got some breeders over there, some pregnant ghost shrimp. That's good. So hopefully those, egg, hopefully they'll lay some eggs, they'll hatch. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, we don't have to keep buying these ghost shrimp. Also, when I was there, you know, they had some, had some freshwater fish for me. So I had no choice but to, I had no choice but to oblige. So we got this, got this box right here. And uh, let me show you what we got. So, uh, fresh water is totally different than salt. So much easier to acclimate, deal with, things like that. So, what we have, look at, the, look at these fresh water fish right here. Y'all never seen a fresh water fish that look like this? For real? Alright. Now, I'm just messing with you. These are some ticker pies right here is what uh is what we put inside of our refugiums in our saltwater aquariums it helps helps with uh, with the diet time algae it helps keep a healthy aquarium these guys this is like a million in here i mean it's it's a lot it's a lot these guys are gonna reproduce it's gonna help maintain our saltwater aquariums our refugiums things like that so that's why i bought those i had to open it up because they're alive i don't know so when you buy them they're in the refrigerator they're cold so they're kind of like dormant, right? But once they start warming up, they start swimming around. Can you see that? Hold on, let me make sure you're able to see this because I could actually see them. You see them moving around. You see them. Uh, anyway, so we got those, right? Like I said, we bought some of these ghost shrimp right here. Got 40 of them, and we got one, two, three. We have three that got eggs. This doesn't even look like 40, y'all. This don't look like 40. I don't know how many they gave me. See, that's the thing. You got to make sure you sit right there and count them with them sometimes because sometimes they won't give you all your ghost shrimp. I'm a little upset about it, but it is what it is. I'm not going to sit up here and hold on to them. Next time, they won't be getting me. Next time, next time y'all going to give me all my ghost shrimp. I'm telling you for sure because uh, if I paid for them, I want them. This looks like about 20 So I basically spent $10 for nothing. This was supposed to be... 40 for 20 but does this look like 40 let me let me come in for y'all like come on now for real look look you could tell that this is not 40 and if you can't tell i could tell it's right in front of me looks like about 20 anyway we're gonna float this bag i was just about to dump them in we're gonna float this bag with the other ghost shrimp and then, um, yeah, let's go ahead and put these over here in this tank. So this is the tank where I keep all my ghost shrimp. Still got quite a few in here. Got a lot of snails in there. We need to get that, uh, that colony up. All right, next. What you think we got? What you think we got? I got a, matter of fact, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave that right there. I want y'all to drop in the comments what you think this one is, what you think this one is. This is fish one. And the comments say, fish one, you think it is such and such. I want to know. So this is a 
It's a pretty large fish. It's kind of large. I thought I was going to put him in the 54. That was the plan. That was the plan. Now, plans might have changed. Plans might have changed, y'all. I might need to move them somewhere else. I don't think they're going to be able to fit in the 54. But anyway, this is fish one, right? Now, check out fish two. A beaut, huh? Right? A really nice fish right there so we got two got two nice fish they'll eventually go in this 240 right here but for the time being for the time being probably put them in the 54 like i started to i'll eventually move some fish around get them situated but i think that's the I think that's going to be the ticket. That's going to be the place to put them. I don't want to put them in there, though. That's an ugly aquarium. Man, all these fry. All these fry up in these aquariums. They're making it difficult to find a place to put a fish. I would like to probably put them in either one of these, 150 or the 75 gallon, but can't really do that because I got all those fry in there. Same thing with, with that 60 over there. Yeah, let me take a look. Hold on. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So what I think I'll do is I think I'm going to scoop out as many fish as I can from that 60 gallon and put them in there. That's what I plan on doing. I'll be right back. All right. So we got this 60 gallon right here and uh, we need to make sure that we don't have any of these frying here. At least I'm going to try to get out as many as I can. If, if I can't get them all, hey, I can't get them all. It is what it is. But I'm going to get out as many as I possibly can because I want to make sure that I don't sacrifice all of these fish. Let's get some light going real quick. So I threw some food in there to try to bait them all in, but it seems like some of them just don't even want to go to the food. So I'll get out what I can. Best believe there's going to still be a bunch in there. All right, I got a bunch out. Went ahead and put them in the 75 gallon because the fish in the, in the 150, they're just way too big. They will really eat all of them. So that's probably all I'll be able to get really. I mean, I could get out a few more. Yeah, it's whatever. I'll leave the rest in there and see what happens. So let me go ahead. We'll probably know what's going to happen. Anyway, let's go ahead and get these two bags of fish. All right. So we got the Jag. And then we have, y'all guess what it is yet? And we got that uh, mystery fish right there. So uh, he's mad. He's really mad, but oh well. All right, so uh, I'll let these guys do a little temperature acclimate. And then we're going to drop them on up into this tank. You hear him over there? See him? Looks nice. A really beautiful fish. Yeah, 
nice size. It's a nice size aquarium for these two fish. Temporarily. Probably get that ship up out of there. All right, we're going to get these guys acclimated. I'll get back with you in a minute. All right, y'all, so I released all of the shrimp into this tank right here. I was trying to count them out. I got a little bit past 30, and then they start bunching up. So then I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Even if I didn't get the full 40, if I got 37, 36, 30, any, if I got, I stopped at 34. So any, any more than that, I'm all right. I, I got close to 40. Now, it didn't look like 40, but I, I'm appreciative of the fact that I did get damn near all of my shrimp, or almost all of my shrimp. But look at the little, look at the little army in here. Got quite a few ghost shrimp in here. Got some pregnant ones. They are going nowhere. I'm not feeding the lionfish any of the pregnant ones. See, look at that. You're staying in this tank. You're a lifer. Got another lifer right there. We got a few lifers in here. I'm gonna keep all of them in here. And then, check it out. Everybody, where, where the big guy at? There you go, right there. Moving so fast, you can't even see him. He's the biggest out of all of them. Do a little, if he come back, where he go? Oh, well, he's big. Opted out of the 54. It's a little bit more suiting, right? Looks a little bit better, clean. So, uh, they almost done acclimating, probably another like 15 minutes. And then we're gonna be ready to put them into this aquarium. I'll be right back with you. All right, so it's been about 40 minutes, maybe 30 to be honest. About 30 minutes, enough time to make sure that the water is, is the same temperature. And that's what, we're, that's what we're looking for. So they double bag this guy like they do a lot of these large aggressive cichlids, which is very smart because sometimes one bag gets a hole or sometimes they'll bite it and they'll put a hole in the bag. So either or you want to have, you know, you want it to be double bag. Now, since it's just really these two, I don't really need to fry, whatever. I'm just about to put the whole thing in there. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's go ahead and net them out. Only because there's a lot of water in there already. So let's just go ahead and net him or net her. Might be a female. She looks a little golden. Beautiful. Quick, easy transition into the aquarium. Just how I like it. All right. Let's go ahead and get the other one into the into this aquarium. Now this one right here is the Madagascar cichlid. Starry Night goes by a couple different names. I think they have a couple other ones, but I call them the Madagascar. And I also call it the Starry Night. So let's go ahead. He's looking really green right now. He's gonna color up to be real dark once he's comfortable and in this aquarium. They're gonna look real nice in that, in the 240. Look at that beautiful fish. Let's go ahead and clean up. Looking good. Let me go ahead and wipe everything down. I said I had to clean up, didn't I? <laughs> yes, I did. Let's clean this up real quick. Wipe it down. Uh, 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 just like that. Make some room. Put this bad boy up here. Just like that. 
I'm gonna have to do something about the other side like that. There we go. Let's uh let's zoom in on them. All right, there's the jag right there. A real stunner of a jag. Beautiful fish. Looking real golden. That's why I said I think it's a female. The females are more golden and the males are more dark. Their spots separate really. Spots separate a lot. So yeah. Really nice looking fish. Really nice looking fish. And then we have the Madagascar up here that's looking a little, I don't know if he's stressed, but I know from my experience, they stress easy. I've had many of these fish in the past and uh, it's, always some, it's always something that happens to them. I remember I bought three at one time thinking I was gonna increase my likelihood of having some success, but in the end, it still was inevitable and they all passed away. But nonetheless, we're going to try it again. As you can see, he's already darkened up. Remember how green he was looking just a second ago? As soon as I pop him in the tank, he's already looking dark. So the other one is be right there, right under him. There's one and there's other one right under him, babe. Yeah, I see him. All right, so uh, that's about it for this video. We got these two new guys. We got some ghost strip and we have some trigger pods. So uh, if you have any questions, you already know what to do with them. All right, y'all, so that about wraps it up for another video. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you were inspired by something. I hope that you were entertained by something. So we went over a bunch of different things in this video. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I'm about to catch each and every single one of you in the next video. Peace.